Welcome everyone to German Tool Reviews. Today we have the Vera 031575 VDE 1000 volt insulated slotted Phillips screwdriver set. I picked up this because it is on sale for a limited time at $20. That is a great price for a Vera VDE insulated set. At the time of this video they are still in stock at KC Tool at this price. A link is in the description if you want to pick up a set. This promotion is only available until the stock is depleted or December 31st, whichever comes first, so grab one if you can. I actually got three sets, two of which I'll probably give away as gifts. For those that are not aware, VDE stands for Verband de Electrotechnik, an independent German testing institute similar to Underwriter Laboratories. Vera states that all of their VDE Mark screwdrivers are tested for a dielectric strength under a 10 kV load in a water bath. This is to ensure a 10 to 1 safety margin for a 1 kV certification. While you should never use any screwdriver on a live circuit, insulated tools are made for that just in case scenario where somebody forgets to put a lockout tag on the breaker box and then somebody else flips a breaker while you're working on the live circuit. Let's take a look at the retail packaging. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't put a plastic window on the front here or make it solid cardboard. It seems like somebody mischievous could yank one of these screwdrivers out the front if it was hanging on the shelf in the store. I'm guessing the intention here was to allow you to feel the grips before buying. There's quite a lot of play in the drivers that allow them to move around quite a bit. Because of this, I noticed that the handles on the Phillips drivers were being scuffed up by the tips of the slotted drivers. Vera may want to think about making those holes a little bit smaller to prevent this much movement during shipping. I did like how the entire packaging was cardboard to make it easy to recycle. So let's dive into this. First taking a look at the voltage testing screwdriver. It is stamped with the Vera name and model number 4115. This item is only listed in the Vera catalog as being included with a couple of the VDE screwdriver sets. Therefore it doesn't look like you can purchase it separately. It was surprising to see the made in Germany stamping on this since nearly all Vera drivers are made in the Czech Republic. It is marked as 120 to 250 volts AC along with the VDE and GS certifications. It has an instruction booklet attached with every language known to man. Now let's take a look at the insulated drivers included with this set. The slotted drivers are from the 1160i model line and include a 2.5 by 0.4 by 80 millimeters, a 3.5 by 0.6 by 80 millimeters, a 4.0 by 0.8 by 100 millimeters, and a 5.5 by 1.0 by 120 millimeters. The Phillips drivers are from the 1162i model line and include Phillips number 1 by 80 millimeters and a Phillips number 2 by 100 millimeters. There are three handle sizes in this set. The two smallest slotted drivers have a handle length of 81 millimeters. The two largest slotted and Phillips number 1 drivers have a handle length of 98 millimeters. The Phillips number 2 driver has a handle length of 105 millimeters. The ends of the handles are also stamped with the driver size. This appears to be heat set or burned into the plastic as opposed to inked, which means it won't rub off. These handles are from Vera's Craftform Comfort Grip line. These maintain the standard Craftform geometry, but use a soft rubber material for most of the handle. For the VDE drivers, all of the red material is a soft rubber and the yellow is a hard plastic. The soft rubber handle contains both a smooth and rough texture. The shafts are coated in a hard plastic material that feels like PVC. The shafts are also marked with 1000 volts. IEC 60900 as well as the VDE and GS logo. There is also this C mark which I don't know what it exactly it stands for. I'm sure somebody will know. Now let's test the voltage tester. At first I thought it may not be working but then I noticed the light was so dim I couldn't see it in the bright light. I turned off the studio lights to use normal room lighting and you can just barely make out the light. Then I turned all of the lights off and you still can only barely make it out. Even worse it looks like the light is directional so you can only see it from one side of the driver. This is at 125 volts so at 240 volts it should be twice as bright. So it looks like this tester is useless unless you were doing all your electrical work in the dark. Testing the fit of the tips, as you can see, they fit well enough to hold the weight of the screwdriver unsupported. Testing the drivers, they feel just as good as any of the standard Vera drivers. No complaints here. So if you're looking for a set of insulated drivers, here's your chance to pick one up for under $25. Well that wraps up the review of the Vera 031575 VDE 1000 volt insulated slotted and Phillips screwdriver set. Check out the link in the description below to the full review including additional high resolution photos not shown here. If you like this video subscribe for more reviews of German brand tools.